one of my co-authors at Karen Wintrick at Penn State, she had an old pair of basketball shorts that she realized she was hanging on to and thought, you know, why do I still have these? These are not something I'm using anymore. And she realized she was keeping them because it was tied to a very specific memory of winning a basketball game against a rival in a game she played in junior high, so a long time ago, but she couldn't bring herself to get rid of these shorts. And it was about that memory, but even more importantly, it was about her identity as an athlete and giving up those shorts felt like not just giving up that memory, but giving up a piece of her identity. So when we're giving up a possession, it feels not only like we're giving up those memories, but also an important part of who we are. If you give people a chance to preserve the memory before donating, does that reduce that sense of identity loss and let people give up the good? One of the things we tested was encouraging people to take a picture of a good before they donated it. And it seems like a very simple act, but it made a significant difference. We do have evidence that it does increase people's likelihood of donating by taking a picture of the good. And more importantly, it actually does reduce people's felt sense of identity loss. So while it may seem obvious, it's not necessarily a natural behavior. It's not something most of us think to do before making a donation. I think that's one of the big contributions of this work is pointing out that actually is an effective way to help you make donations, help you remove clutter from your home.